Regina from Pampered Soaps. Today I am making my cookies and cream soap. So as always, I have my oils here and my lye water. Um, I have my fragrance, which is a mixture of about four different types of essential oils um, that we use for this particular recipe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up everything off camera and then I'm going to come back and pour everything for you guys. So stay with us and we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. I have everything mixed up now. Um, we are going to make sure you can see this mold here. Okay. I'm going to spray it down with alcohol. Again, we're doing the co cookies and cream soap. If you like to see videos like this, how-to videos on herbal medicine and cold processed soap, we do these every Saturday. You can find us on social media um, at Pampered Soaps, and you can also find us on PamperedSoaps.com. All right, so I'm just mixing up my titanium dioxide here. Okay, and I have my activated charcoal mixed up for the cookie color, so we're gonna pour that first. All right, so let's pour a layer of this here first. All right, and then just tap that down a bit. All right, and I got my bamboo stick here. I'm gonna do like a little swirl pattern. I want the bottom to get a little bit harder though before I do that. So usually what I do is I let it sit for about two to three minutes just so I know it's not going to go completely through yet. I want it to be a little bit more sturdy so I am going to pause the video for one or two minutes and I'll come back and we'll go ahead and finish up. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. It's been about three minutes or so. Now I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit of the white in here. I'm just going to pour it like that, if you can see that, just a little bit, okay, and then we are just going to give it some little zigzag patterns here, just roll it down a little bit, just like that, I like, this is my fun part, I like to play with it, make all kind of pretty designs, I love to do the the little swirls, one of my favorite things to do. All right. Can you guys see that? Let me see if I can adjust it a little bit just so you guys can get a better look. All right. There we go. All right. And we're going to put some more black on top here. All right. And I'm going to go right ahead and put some more white so we can do some more of what we were doing. Okay, there we go. This is where it gets fun. We got way more soap to play with now. All right. Okay, so here we go. And I'm just swirling the top a little bit. Just to give it a pretty design at the top. And I will let this sit just for a minute. I apologize for stopping and starting the video, but I do not believe in wasting time. I'm sure you guys can appreciate that. So we'll be right back here in a couple minutes. Okay, we're back. So let me go ahead and pour some more black in here. Just a little bit there. And a little bit more white. I'm gonna get just a pinch more white in here this time. Oops, I hit the camera, sorry guys. That was not my intention. And let's see if we can get some pretty swirls at the top part of this one. Here we go. Yes. All right. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more white to this part 
because it's not enough. I want my design to be somewhat even. We're going to try anyway. We're going to try our best. There we go. Okay. I think I'm okay with that for the moment. Tap it down a bit. And let's get the rest of this uh, black out of here. As my fellow YouTuber says, scrapey, scrapey. So gonna... Sorry for the noise, guys. Get the rest of this out. And pour that in here. There we go. Beautiful. And let me just grab the spoon here and get all this out. Okay, there we go. And then we will go ahead and top it off with the white. Where's my little spatula here? More scrapey, scrapey. Trying not to make too much of a mess. You guys that know me know I somehow always find a way to make a mess when I do this, but that's okay. And now we're just going to go ahead and finish off with the white. Oh, look at that. I am in love. Look at that. Beautiful. And uh, let me do my little scrape so we can get all of that. And then I will finish swirling the top and we'll, we will see what we end up with here all right let's do it swirly swirly okay there we go mm -hmm. it's got a little bit more white at the top here let's see if we can alternate that and give it a little black. I am going to actually put some little cherry pieces, or they are supposed to be cherry pieces, um, of soap right on top. So we're not quite finished. Okay. Just a little bit there. And I'm going to tap that real quick. Beautiful. And let me see my little cherry pieces that I have here that I did with melt and pour soap. I think I'm just going to put them slightly down the middle. Not too much, just a little bit. hope you guys can see that. So it's just got a little bit of a hint of color on top. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. I don't do a lot of embeds. Sometimes I'll do just a little bit, as you see here, just to give it a little pinch of something. And it's still soap, so it makes for a very good exfoliant, too. So it doesn't go to waste. It's just soap. All right. So let's see. Need a little bit more over here. Maybe one more there. Okay. I'm not going to cut this for about another 24 hours. We'll see what it looks like. We'll come back for a cutting video. And I'm just going to spray the top. And then I'm going to insulate it like I do to speed up the gel phase. So there you have it, the cookies and cream. Come back next week to see what we put together for you. Again, follow us on pampersoaps.com on Instagram and on Facebook or visit our website at pampersoaps.com. Until next week, next, until next week, guys. We'll see you then. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, we'll see you next week.